So, practice seed number one for the day. Maybe this one won't suck. Sacred Grove, Southern Desert. Lakebed, Temple City. Lakebed, Temple, City, Grove. That's not Grove. Where is the door? <laughs> As I'm trying to like make a bunch of fucking notes. Southern Desert. <clears throat> nice gamer. yesterday. <laughs> I... Well, okay. I like most of it. It had a lot of things that I did like and a lot of then I could, a lot of small things I could probably complain about for many reasons. But I enjoyed it significantly more than any other Zelda game made in the last 15 years. So that's a step up. I completely despise the combat system in every imaginable way. The combat system honestly made the game very unfun. But the puzzles were very good. something very good for puzzles. And that is significantly better because it means that most of the game feels better until you have to fight enemies. Kyokichu. I won't say how many echoes there are, but I will say that 90% of them are just enemies. No, I don't really. I'm not looking at all at the speedrun. Like, I couldn't care one minute amount about that as a speedrun. Oh, 
I want these like tiny barren remakes. That sucks. <laughs> I think that probably makes it less interesting to me. Like, even, like, it probably makes it even worse. Goats is Zora armor. Okay, cool. I need to go back for goats. Let's see if I can find Lantern first. Yeah, I mean, the same thing made me not care about the run at all, but I think wrong warps, honestly, on why did you link? Oh my god. I was just very, very slightly not angled. God damn it. I went slightly forward instead of slightly left. Fucking hell. Because if the run devolves into wrong warp to every fucking location, I... That's really boring. <laughs> that's really boring for a game that has, like, movement options otherwise. The problem is that Glitchless is also going to be awful for different reasons. <laughs> but if the glitch category is wrong warps the fucking run, then that sucks. I'm gonna go up here. <laughs> the game was ruined by the combat system already, but... In terms of like keeping me interested for more than five seconds. Like, I will say that I did like the game, but I never want to play it again. 
which is more than I can say for Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Like, significantly. That's a huge step up. I just want a Zelda game to have good dungeons and to like let me actually fight things when that is the primary point of a lot of those dungeon rooms. When you force me into combat and the combat sucks, I... <laughs> There's no excuse. Yeah, weapon durability is awful. I mean, also Fire Emblem removed weapon durability anyway. I guess they brought it back for Engage. I'm mostly just doing Sphere Zero, trying to look for Lantern before I go to Ordon. I don't remember it in Three Houses. I guess because Three Houses was a pretty bad game anyway. Hack Reiko Armagoma. Oh, let's talk to you, Lantern. <laughs> yeah, the only reason I didn't play Engage was because Three Houses soured me on Fire Emblem. After some of the best Game Boy Advance and GameCube and Wii. North Elden Argorok. that I currently have. We'll just switch them for water bombs now. Hey. I'm gonna switch them now. Hi. 
Just because I know where Zora Armor is. It's like the things that I want from a series like Fire Emblem is less options. Give me Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn. Where the only progression is the next mission. Probably implies that Claw Shot will get me Dominion Rod. looking for a lantern right now. Stop. Hopefully I get a lantern before I need to go back to Ordon. If I don't get iron boots, though, then the Ordon stuff that I know about doesn't really matter, so... Potentially irrelevant there. Yeah, I didn't stream Echoes of Wisdom for a few reasons. Uh, bomb bag is on the path of Dragonfly, okay. I can go all the way to um, Stafos Grotto.
My race is in a week. So. Get the practice in that I can. a little bit with going back. Go. Ignore the arrows. Um, I'm gonna kill these. the thing that I got ah! earlier. Oh, it was this. It was an equal, right? Yeah, 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 game. I know I don't have any other heart containers. God damn it. Well. Yeah, this might be this probably faster. I'm just going to do this quickly enough. Curious. Mm, yeah, it's, this is definitely faster. Also, like the end of the month. to keep using my water bombs. Yeah, it's kind of 
not what I figured. Would be here. Yield attack. I'm gonna go to Castletown. <clears throat> I'm actually still looking for sometimes and always hints. Not new information. So I know that the bomb bag leading to a dragonfly is pretty important. It's probably like a temple. Like it's almost definitely like the temple. Ice block is a hidden skill. Shell blade is dead. But I don't know what Agatha has. Probably has something important, though. Definitely do like that. Lantern and sword. Okay. Trash. 
You don't worry. I definitely can. This could hint at one of the things. Held an underwater chest, okay. Axel, thank you for the five tier ones and also Twitch for the two. <laughs> Twitch to uh Jirachi. Izarot and Axel to Janice from HR, uh, Font, Shy Guy, Starcast, and The Masked Mango. <laughs> I saw someone on Twitter today say that they got uh, 50. But yeah, I've seen as high as, I think, 63 from a uh, Twitch match on, like, a five-pack of gift subs. It's also funny that the Twitch one counts as a separate one because the hype train triggers after like three events or something. Twitch wanted to give me a 50 gift subs. I wouldn't say no. I could definitely use that. You do also get a chat badge for uh, participating in the event after the event is over. It's just, it's the September emote that you can just like have as a chat badge or something. That's what they're doing. Uh, I'm gonna do Great Bridge. I do, I need to go back to Ordon, but without Iron Boots, I don't have much of a reason to. Excuse me, Link. Because Zoro Armor alone doesn't do anything. I need Iron Boots for that to actually like, matter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I have no idea what the upper cap is on Twitch, is like the matching thing. 63 is the highest I've seen, but that's like a weird one to be like the cap. It makes me wonder if it goes up to like 100 or something. I'm sure it's a weighted distribution, so it's probably like more likely to give one or two. It stops at 69. Yo, Raven. Thank you for the five and Twitch for the three. I'll read those after I do this test. If you had done that like 50 seconds earlier, it would have been a hype train. <laughs> Congrats to JR, Star Falco, Fort Theo, Shmue, Zombie, uh, Yas, Amiibo, and Pop Pie. Amazing. I guess that could happen. You could probably, like, Twitch could probably give you a sub. I'm sure that they don't have any way to not make that happen. That'd be really funny. For two for two five packs of gift subs, Twitch has done a total of another five, so it's a thirty-three percent increase. That's not bad. That's not a bad It's not like, you know, a fifty, but like, that's not terrible. Go. Oh. Go, horse. <clears throat> I probably should check the sign here. Yeah. I guess I'll just go to Ordon after this. Well, no. I can do, yeah, I can do uh, Baron Field. Caprico Gorge. Those are definitely better. Because I'm trying to pin down Iron Boots. Well, no, I should definitely just go to Ordon. Yeah, go to Ordon. Get Zor armor, see what else is there. Because I'm not going to get Lantern. Uh, I did get Fishing Rod. Me for the prime, also. Yo, Warrior Prince. Backslice. Wrong button. Wee. <laughs> Funny game. <laughs> yeah, 
I'll do Ordon now. Um. I keep saying I'll do Ordon. I'd rather do, like, this stuff. Farron Woods, Farron Field, Kakariko Gorge. Because there's, like, nothing here that's Iron Boots locked. I'm going to do it regardless. More often than not. It's like, yeah, it's lantern locked here. Not a huge deal. Yeah, I saw that Morph streamed for like an hour before the relay. I was like, oh. Goodbye, streak. <clears throat> Yo, Drac, thank you for the raid. Hope your stream was good. <laughs> it's wild to me that some people, like, even someone like Beast doesn't use an alt for restreams. It's like, yes, streaming is not his full time job, but also, like, it's not good for stats. Yo, Stavros. <laughs> to continue your streak, fair. I assume you were doing rando, Drac. Plum is dead, ice block is dead. Yo, JR. I think I need Goron Springwater hints still, but that's fine. I'm surprised. I had so many like overlapping hints. <clears throat> I think the main thing I I just need Iron Boots. Lost your race to Pink Reaper. Bottom of sewers. Ah. Uh, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of different options. Kind of like too many choices you can make. Nice, second ball bag. But also in that situation where like, oh, if moles or lantern ghosts had paid off, that would have been huge. <laughs> that would have been absolutely huge. Yeah, typical. Orange rupee. Do, do, do. Elden Cave Lantern Chest. It's okay. I'm doing two practice seeds. My next tournament match is in a week. I'll go out of logic. Fuck it. <laughs> uh, Elden Lantern Cave Lantern Chest. <clears throat> I didn't get Iron Boots, but that doesn't matter. 
this works just as well. I have nothing else I need money for, right? Uh, I do have a job. So, with an empty magic armor, no rupees, it works the same as iron boots. The only thing it doesn't do is magnetism, but I don't need magnetism for any of the dungeons I'm doing. So, let's just uh, kill our money. I don't need a sword for Lakebed Temple or Temple of Time. Lakebed Temple probably has my lantern, or rather the bug to get my lantern. Based on it being a uh, bomb bag lock. I did this in the wrong order. Oops. I did this as if I had already done Ordon. That's fine. I need to do shield check. It'd be really funny if I beat the seed without iron boots. Very, very, very unlikely, but... I think my Dominion Rod is probably in City in the Sky. Um, <clears throat> I know my lantern is behind a bug that's probably in Lake Bed Temple. I just need swords. And the boomerang. And the boomerang could be anywhere. And also swords could pretty much be anywhere, but I will get hints for them. One is on Agatha. So going to Lake Bed Temple is definitely the best play. I just need to get the, uh... Actually, I can't, uh... Well... No, I think I can make this work. I just need to be quick about switching between Zora armor and magic armor once I'm underwater. I'm pretty sure this will work. I need to be in magic armor to pull out a water bomb, but then I need to be using Zora armor to not fucking die. <laughs> so phase one more feel, I need to use magic armor, and then I switch to Zora armor for phase two to make it easier. Unless Iron Boots are vanilla, and then this defeats everything <laughs> and makes it all irrelevant. I think this is like legitimately a very good play. Although... Mm. This is awkward, actually. Without sword... Bo, dude, stop rolling the twenty five percent. God. 50% chance he smacks. 
Uh, that's useless. Okay. Yo, Sandy. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be awkward, actually. I like I can do this. The Morphil fight is definitely gonna be annoying though if I don't get swords in like Bed Temple. This last one. Bruh, turn around. Terrible. Oh, let's just get rid of my money. Less money. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> okay, so I need water bombs. I'll just do this the normal way. Be easier. I have everything that I technically need to beat and full clear Lake Bed Temple. Carl's Jr. Burger, what's on it? <laughs> Alright, time to do the awkward thing. Yeah, I'd definitely try that. Ow.
I do need to make chili tomorrow, though. One lake bed small. Smalls. Oh, I need to read the sign, damn it. There's nothing over here that makes my life so much easier. Only big key. Sword and Gruta Desert. Okay. Is on the other side. This side will probably have what I. Why did I go to this side? God damn it. get a female dragonfly on this side. Almost guaranteed, I think. My other leg bed's small. Homosaurs. Nice. That is one that I need to play at some point. Oh. Hmm. Digimon World 4 is a GameCube game. That's on my list of things that I need to play. Exclamation point GameCube, haha. -ha. It's not as bad as, uh... It's not as bad of a game as people typically say it is, but it's not good. Logan. 
DS games, yeah. Those are definitely the... Some of the best ones. I would say the story games for... PS Vita... PS Vita slash 4. I guess they're on PC now. I have them on PC. That's not the right bug. I thought that was an actual message from someone. I thought I could land on that. I'm gonna get these chests first. Just because they're more annoying to get. Mm. I do have a channel point redemption also now to pick the next one that I play in that spreadsheet. I'm starting Wind Waker today. I have it all I should have it all set up actually. Hey Lizalfos, do you wanna like come out from behind that corner? Yo, a jar of walnuts. I mean, for the bad RNG. <laughs> Network transmission. Okay. That'll be the second one then. Once I'm done with One Waker, obviously. I've never actually beaten Network transmission, but it shouldn't be too bad to get through since I'm not 12 anymore. I don't have the drums. I thought I did, but I couldn't find them. I'm sure I can get them from somewhere for like a reasonable-ish price at some point. I assume it'll be Jungle Beat whenever I do get the drums. I'm sure I can get them from someone, if nothing else. <clears throat> yeah, I remember that. I would have been one of the first for TP, but the fishing achievements, like, pushed me off real hard. Oh, I have money right now. God damn it. Oh, this is going to be annoying. I need to lose all my money and not drown also. game. 
Oh, I hope this chest doesn't have, like, a silver rupee in it. <laughs> Adventure game tonight? Nice. Uh, that just means that 18% of all GameCube games have RA support already. Yeah, just the percentage percentage of games that have it. Please don't be like a silver rupee. I'll take a purple or something. Okay, thank God. Let me do this for air real quick. No, I will eventually do the uh, I will do the other games too. It's just a matter of like I would rather prioritize the games that support RA at the moment. surface and not ground here. <clears throat> I don't think the Fire Emblem set is like that bad. The goal of the spreadsheet is to beat every game on it eventually. But having support for RA makes that like Kind of a little bit more fun. Yeah, BN1 has a similar thing where you can't uh, buy armor or buster upgrades, I think. probably won't be bad after I've, like, played it for a while. I guess that bug could be a sword, technically. Get rid of the money. <laughs> Get rid of the money. No, SA, uh, DX and SA2 Battle have sets that are in development, I'm pretty sure, last I looked. If they're not already done. Same with Shadow. The Shadow base game, is, someone's working on it. Because 
because it's already done on PS2. Okay, this side only has the big key. So as soon as I find the big key, I can leave. But yeah, the response, at least on the YouTube community post, is pretty good for uh, the GameCube stuff. There's definitely going to be some real bad games, but those at least will probably not take too long. I might even have to, like, prioritize them myself, <laughs> because I don't think people are going to redeem, like, really shitty games. You don't know that. Shadow has a rando. I think it's emulator only? I don't remember. Okay, you see the Homosaur. I don't rem You can skip like a bunch of stuff. It's over there. You can make this climb be significantly faster. But I don't remember where you have to, like, flush up to. I need to pick trying to pay attention to that. No. <laughs> Stop giving me money. I don't need rupees. Big Key is apparently in a really bad location. Pretty deep on this side. Oh, wait. Please don't make me go to the vanilla location for the big key. That's all I'm asking. Right now, please don't make me go vanilla big key. It's 
Stop. Next chest, please. Please be in the next chest. Because this will be so annoying. It's vanilla. Thank God. It was only the big key on this side, so I don't need to worry about anything else being over here. I do need to grab this chest here. The doors here level or the pass through, yeah. This is a nice detail. Link is getting waterboarded so hard right now. I am going to have to swim to the bottom. Uh, what do I have for... Oh, wrong, wrong bombs. Okay, this is fine. <clears throat> yeah, I am going to have to swim to the bottom. This is going to be weird. But I didn't get a sword here, so. I mean, I guess I could sink. You have enough uh, air to make it to the bottom. Like the entire point. Swordless first phase, first try, with magic armor. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> Second phase is not, the, is not any different. Except I can't do uh, the fast re-grabs. to do this the more casual way. I more feel. Anyway. <laughs> you ever watch Link punch an eye? Uh, that was more feel. Swordless. Hour 20 is like not very good for doing your first dungeon, but whatever. 
I think I made the correct play coming here when I did magic armor. It was just a little awkward with uh, ruby chests. <clears throat> what did I get here? Did I get anything interesting here? I mean, I, I did get a bug, but that bug is not, um... Well, no, that bug could be the... Um, lantern bug. Yeah, that could be the lantern bug. Ooh, I can do all of the neighbor's spring right now, except for the lantern chest. Okay, this is convenient. Where am I going? <laughs> if I didn't need lantern to do a Temple of Time... Actually, very much need to not have money to get the underwater chests. This is definitely not faster than having iron boots, but I would have to be searching far and wide for iron boots. Unfortunately. If I had two swords, I would do City in the Sky, like, right now. I know one is in the desert, and I know one is at Agatha. <laughs> container in a container. Calm down. I'll check and see if this is Lantern. <laughs> I guess I don't know if it... This could be Lantern or Sword. I'm just guessing it was Lantern. But, like, giving me Lantern right now would be really nice. I could do a lot with Lantern. Like, almost beat Temple of Time.
Yeah, I don't want the money from this game. I want the money from Twitch. <sighs> Stick. That's not what I wanted. I wanted a lantern. Logic gap, uh, closed. <laughs> Unfortunately. It would have been funny if I just never found them. It definitely would have been funny, but oh well. Also, I definitely want to use these bombs first. I'm going to do these two checks and then go to City in the Sky. <laughs> Lantern lets me clear Temple of Time, though. So I need to be thinking about, um... Oh, that could have been the... So, bombs to dragonfly. Bombs to dragonfly. Got me a dominion rod. That's not... That doesn't link up at all. Like, well, unless I have both of them, mods, then it can link up like that. Uh, bombs also got me claw shot technically right now. All right, let's go to city. South desert has nothing. North desert has a sword. I need two swords to defeat Argarok. There might be a sword in city in the sky. This makes the most sense at the moment. Yeah, you can't punch Argarok. I wish you could. Not the right bug. <laughs> Four bugs left. I need a female dragonfly.
not only can you not punch Argorok, uh, you can't use the wooden sword either. Something good, no big keys, two swords and dungeons. I could get two swords in this dungeon. <laughs> Something good, no big keys. Uh, and I... There's a water dungeon. Nice. I will definitely play more Quest Master once it comes out for real, though. That is definitely going to be a thing that I do. I'm probably done with early access for now, though. The walk is drowning us. Amazing. <clears throat> I want to play the campaign that they make. And also, like, once it comes out, there will be more people making stuff for sure. And just more stuff to play with. I really like... I do really like that game. I will say, if the campaign for Questmaster is good, I will definitely be doing any percent for it. Just because the game feels really good. considered something good here. Where's my frame perfect roll? go high enough on that. Yeah, 
I'm just gonna do everything back here. Just in case, I guess. The hint doesn't have to apply to that bow. Although it probably does. Okay, I can kill Argorok now. I can five cycle Argorok at the moment. You doing okay, Uku? Third bomb bag. Oh, damn it. Um, unlikely, I think. That, uh... Aralfos also has something. Definitely could. There's no reason not to get it. Okay, what do I still need? I need Boomerang, the Bug for Lantern. Aru's Memo could be something good. So there's a chance that, um, I think there's a pretty good chance that Temple of Time has just Aru's memo. Ball and Chain would also technically be something good, but... Yeah, I'm just going to do Forward City. I think Reverse is a lot better without Boomerang, but... I don't want to leave behind the one check. God damn it. <laughs> Iron Boots too early. I do need to still skip turning on the fan, though. Could have been a hint for this, but at this point I'm not looking for hints. Unfortunately. Like, there's three hints I didn't find, but I have enough information. Unless something is like, oh, the boomerang is here. In which case, yeah, I should have looked for the hint, but... It's fine. Dragonfly, that's Lantern.
Okay, so that's Lantern. The only items left, there's a sword in either this dungeon or Temple of Time. Ideally, this dungeon. And then there's a boomerang. Which is also ideally in this dungeon, but it probably won't be. What a big purple friend. Oh, okay, there's Memo. I mean, I can get Master Sword off Memo. But I also know there's a sword in the... Uh... Dungeons. So the only reason to do sword off Memo is if I am otherwise go mode. I still have to clear all of city. Like, I can't skip checks here. Yeah, I just need Boomerang at this point. literally all I need. And it could be anywhere. about this. Okay, it went too far. And that puts you over here, and life sucks. Honestly, probably not even worth doing. The camera was just in a really weird spot. Hmm. 
Can you lock on to the right thing, Link? Oh my god. I forgot about this chest anyway. This is a lot easier if the camera, like, kind of behaves a little bit. I'm trying to fucking angle the camera. Thank you. <laughs> In such a way to make that, like, less awkward. I think voiding out is slower at this point, because it puts me, like, way the fuck at the beginning. Well, maybe not. This P-head is so goddamn slow. Honestly, if Rando had an option to make the P-Hats just move faster, I don't think I would complain. They are so slow. on to the right thing. God damn it, man. Now I just have to wait. Again. Lock on to the P-Hat. And not the Baba Serpents. I just have to wait now. This is a case of like, I should have gone reverse city. And I would have saved like 10 minutes. Without Gale Boomerang, just looking for the big key, basically. This is impressively bad big key placement. <laughs> I get did get the bug, I guess. The bug for a lantern, I did get that. Don't need the bowling chain. There's 
There's only two chests left in this dungeon. I need to turn on the fans outside. It's not even vanilla. I see what happened. I hit the little ledge. That's stupid. I know exactly what the big key is at this point. It's in this fucking chest. Oh my god. <laughs> I also got memo. I didn't Cycle Argaroth incoming. I know that Temple of Time has a sword, so I'm not gonna like go to the desert for a sword, that's stupid. There's a chance that Temple of Time doesn't have anything other than the sword. Unfortunate.
Okay. Neat lantern. Oh, it's clear temple of time. Don't worry about anything else. Unfortunately. That's just the best idea. Full clear TOT. Sword and boomerang. If I find boomerang and big key, I guess it depends how early I find them. Probably still better. No, Ling. Roll, don't pick up the skull. <laughs> there. 
We're almost there. I should have gone to Gord. Earlier Gord would have gotten me Iron Boots a lot earlier. <sighs> oh well. Yeah, these past like handful of seeds have been a pretty big case of like barren category I don't care about as a hint. <laughs> I think barren category is the weakest hint that we have. I think the boomerang slash claw shot hint is just so much better. Telling you, Boomerang is in the overworld slash dungeon. This is just so much more valuable information than there's nothing in the Farron Mist or something. Just because Boomerang ends up being. You know, most of the time, being able to say, like, it's in the overworld. Okay. Somewhere in the overworld, that means that I don't care about what's in the dungeons at all. Like, <laughs> or vice versa. <clears throat> such a such a more useful hint. It's definitely those seeds that are, like, easier to... Figure out the end game. Of course, it's the bottom right one. All right, I'm going to just do Temple of Time. There's no reason for me to like about anything else. I have everything that I need to beat it. And full clearing Temple of Time is probably statistically more likely than doing random checks in the overworld. Especially because I know a sword is here. Uh, you, you, you. 
Lord. Like, skipping desert entirely is probably a pretty good idea. I know the South Desert has nothing. North Desert is like six checks. Dark nut chest is Gale Boomerang. Okay. Well, we know where it is now. I just need three small keys, the big key and also the sword. And then I can just run straight to the dark nut chest. Just needed lantern. Okay, so boomerang was so deep I wasn't gonna get that earlier. The bug for that was in City in the Sky. God, I don't have a jump strike. Excuse me, bomb arrow, you want to like hit him? Master Sword, please. <laughs> 
Big key. Why are you going back? Total Dominion Rod. Okay. Actually useless at this point. would be pretty much useless because I know that there's something good beyond this point. Just need another small key. So as soon as I get a small key, I just bolt to the top. spiders here. <laughs> Rather have been able to skip this, but whatever. first. Please be a small key. Fuck. Didn't want to have to go into this room.
Okay. Damn it. Two chests left besides the dark nut. And I know that the dark nut's boomerang. Come on, game. Is it this one? Is it vanilla? No. Oh my god, I have to kill the spiders again. <laughs> clearing dungeons. Gale Boomer. <laughs> God damn it. Is that everything? It's not technically everything. I'm missing a bottle, missing some hidden skills. Well, I know where a couple of them are. I can't know where one is. <clears throat> I don't think the scene was, like, that terrible. But, like... Like, this is not a good time. <laughs> Where were my swords? One was in City. I was forced to do five cycle Argarok no matter what without like leaving. There was no way to get the Master Sword before entering City in the Sky. And I would. Yeah, okay. The first sword was on Agatha, almost guaranteed, unless you went to City first. Doma! 
Oh my fucking Goma! Yeah, Lakebed had the bug sword. Which is really slow. Like, logically. Because I would have. I definitely would have been forced to leave a dungeon or two to do them faster. So. I think the sword locations made it, like, kind of difficult to get going. I could have been faster if I went to Kakariko Gorge and got Iron Boots. Instead of using Magic Arm. But, I think the Magic Armor play was funny. It just, Magic Armor was really slow to use for a lot of things. But that's fine. That's fine. It was definitely funny that way. I think the main issue was just how slow it was to clear my first dungeon. Full clearing all three dungeons also is pretty slow, especially when it's these three. So maybe with these three dungeons, this isn't like terrible, terrible. Two thirty-five-ish is a pretty good guess. I think it's a probably a two thirty-six or so. It's like somewhere around there. It's definitely somewhere around there. Not having to go to the desert is nice. There wasn't enough information to be able to gamble on dungeons. But like Lake Bed, Temple of Time, and City in the Sky are the three slowest ones. Other than maybe Arbiters is slower than one of them. Arbiters might be slower than Temple of Time, but I think it's Arbiters is still faster than I think City and Lake Bed if you're doing full clears. But those are like <laughs> the slowest dungeons by far. Just having all of them is not great. <clears throat> Yeah, but there's like no reason to go to desert. 
because I, I knew, we knew that two swords were in. Well, uh, dungeons. And then I had the bug sword. The only gamble there would be like, well, maybe Boomerang is out here, but at that point, like, just go to Temple of Time and clear. Because your odds are likely that Boomerang is there and not overworld, density-wise. Link, start moving, please. Shop bombers. I think 235 is a little generous. Yeah. The main issue is like Zelda takes nearly two minutes, Beast Ganon takes like 40 seconds. We'll see. I think the climb is. a little too slow. I don't know why I was trying to, like, combine my arrows with my fairy tears. Not sure how that would turn out.
Come on, Zelda. Do another one. Ganon. Yeah, horse. The cutscenes are what's gonna make this probably a 36. Seems are just a little <laughs> long. Oh, it is a 235. Nice. <laughs> Good guess, I guess. <sighs> One twenty first. When did I enter like the temple? How long did I spend in like the temple? That's a good question, actually. I guess I was looking for like lantern for a while. Not finding it. Hmm. Thank you for the GG. Yeah. Where was magic armor? Where did I find magic? No, I found magic armor in the overworld. I think that was Great Bridge. Hmm. Like, I never went to Gorge. I probably should... I should have gone to Gorge earlier, but... It's a tough one to, like, figure out how to route in. Because the checks there aren't, like, great. I don't know. I don't think I played this scene particularly bad. I think it was mostly just like magic armor is a slow way of doing 
uh, underwater stuff. Especially using it to like go in and do lake bed. Yeah, I just don't know like when all that was on the timer. I wasn't paying that close of attention until I finished more fuel fight, which is around like 120. Like city and temple of time combined being about an hour ish to clear. Why did I even go to Gorge in the first place? Because I went there after... Lakebed Temple. Maybe with how I was playing, I think going to Gorge was the bad play. I think I should have, like, just hard committed to sitting in the sky at that point. I don't know. It's a tough call. Finishing this, a seed like this without iron boots would have been interesting. Since all that was in Gorge was... Well, no, there was a Dominion Rod there, so that was important. Because the other Dominion Rod was, uh... In Temple of Time... It was the statues. So it was technically Dominion Rod locked. But I could have done statue throws and gotten that anyway. I don't know. I think if I did that, that would have actually been slower than going to Gorge and getting the things I did, but... Eh, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. 235 is fine for these dungeons, I guess. I don't know. I can't really gauge how... When you're full clearing Lake Bed, Temple of Time, and City in the Sky, I can't really complain too much. 235 is not what I want, though. <laughs> so. that's a, That was a seed. I think the Lake Bed stuff was interesting. It was just awkward. With how it played out with magic armor. I don't know if I would do that in a race. Maybe if I was, like, really confident that uh, iron boots were, like, deep in logic. I don't know. But I think with lake bed and city, the iron boots aren't going to be very deep. <sighs> but yeah. Uh, I'll do... I'll probably... Yeah, I'll do the other one. So... Thank you all for watching, and get to another practice seed soon.